Hi, it's me again. Time for Uncle John John to read to you bedtime story. It's time for me to continue my Halloween spooky stories, but not too spooky. Don't worry, it's okay. It's not that bad. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to have nightmares. But it is time for me to tell a short, short story tonight. Because I want you to go to sleep real fast. Ooh, okay, this is the right picture. Okay. Alright. The story begins with kids in a costume. Ooh, and it's all black and white and everything looks old timey. I think this was uh, from the time when Uncle John John's older brother. I know, right? That must be so old. Uncle John John, he's really old. I know I am. I'm like, I'm like a hundred. And, and it, my older brother, his picture was when he was a kid. And in the old days, yeah, they didn't, they didn't have cool costumes. They didn't have like cool Halloween decorations. We didn't decorate the house. Not so much, not really. We didn't have like cool like things to put on the front of the house and smoke and lights and everything. It's kind of boring in the old days. And, and if you were a kid, if you were a kid, if you were a girl, your, your costume choices were a clown or Snow White. And if you were a boy, your costume choices were uh, a wizard. I guess in this picture, this boy he has a, like a wizard hat and a bat. He's wearing like a bathrobe. I guess that's that's his costume. Or, or a hobo. And let me explain what a hobo is. Okay, I'm gonna try. So a hobo in the old days basically it was a person who d didn't really want to have like a regular home. They didn't. They didn't they don't want to be stuck in a place. They didn't want to have like a regular job. Like, you know, with nine to five and working in an office, what they wanted to do is just kind of travel around and just kind of pick up a job here and there, enough to kind of like pay for food and stuff. And they didn't want to like, ha you know, like sleep in like regular places. They kind of slept where they wanted. They camped out a lot, they camped out a lot. And they just kind of hitchhiked, like okay, hitchhike and get on, get on a bus or something to go to wherever there was work and just kind of see the, see the world, you know? But it wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy life. So they just kind of wore the same clothes all the time. So the, old, the clothes looked kind of dirty and ratty and had holes and stuff. And they, didn't, and they didn't take a lot of showers. So they always looked kind of sort of dirty. And they didn't shave very much. So they kind of had like beards, but not cool beards like Uncle John John here. Ha ha ha. But I guess it was kind of a cool costume to do. Is to kind of look like a hobo person, and I don't know. So that was it. That was a costume. And so, and another thing is, in the old days, they didn't have street lights. So the problem is, it got it, when it got dark, you had to be home. It, otherwise, it'd be too dark just to find your way. So kids had to do their trick or treating in the neighborhood right after school, but not, not too after school, because you had to do your homework. And then you had to put on your costume. And then you'd meet up with your, your, your brother and your sister and your friends and go out and do trick or treat. But you had to do it before the sun went down. So you don't have a lot of time. And, and so as we can see here, as we can see here, the, ki the kids went out, they went trick or treating, and then they came back because they didn't have a whole lot of time. You know, they didn't have a lot of candy. And also it's dinner time. So because it's dinner time, you know, everybody else went back to their homes and, and then um, the, uh, these kids, the, they went up to their rooms. And when they went up to their rooms, uh... Okay, so, okay, okay, 
So let me explain how, how, how families lived in the old days, in the like really old days, like a hundred years ago, like the 1970s. Basically brothers lived together in the same room and sisters lived together in the same room too. But I mean, not together with the brothers, but they had their own room, but not their own, own rooms. Basically, girls lived in one room together and boys lived in one room together. And so in, in here, um, one of the brothers is in the room at, with their buddy. And this brother, he's in a, a pig costume because he's going as one of the three little pigs. That's actually pretty clever. That's a pretty cool costume, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, so, and, and then his buddy is a wolf man. He's a wolf man, he's in a werewolf costume. And now, when you have a bunch of boys who, who sleep in the same room together, they sleep in bunk beds. And bunk beds are basically beds that are one on top of the other. And so his buddy climbs up on the top bed and he's reading comic books. And then, and then the, the dude in the pig costume uh, d dumps out his candy on the bed. And what he finds is somebody put in, did put in candy, they put in firecrackers. What? That's so cool. I mean, no, 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 it's not cool. It's actually really dangerous. So, but, so anyway, and so the, the kid in the, in the pig costume um, it's like, oh, fireworks, firecrackers, and he accidentally let one go off. And it started like a small fire and lots of smoke on his bed. And the wolfman dude freaked out. It's like, no, there's going to be a firecracker burned down the house. And everybody's freaking out. They're running around the room like, ha oh, hi. And the wolfman dude uh, broke the top bed bunk and crashed down, down, uh, down onto, like, almost burned himself. He's like, oh, my costume's going to catch fire. And the, the kid in the pig costume was like, I know what I'll do. I know how to put this fire on. So he ran out of his room, ran through the house, ran through the kitchen, said, hi mom, hi dad, don't don't worry about me. There's, there isn't a fire in my, in my room and smoke or anything. And he went out and he went to the garbage cans and grabbed a lid off the garbage can. And then he ran back through the kitchen. And he was like, hi mom, hi dad, don't worry. I'm, I just need the garbage can lid for, for a science project I'm doing for, for homework. And anyway, and then he ran through the house and ran into his room and he, and he pat, patted out the fire and the smoke and the flames with the garbage can lid and, uh, and incredibly, it worked! The fire went out! Yay! The house is not going to burn down. But they had a problem. There was a lot of smoke in the room. So the kid in the wolfman costume and the kid in the, in the little pig costume were like, Okay, so what we got to do is we got to let the smoke go out. But we can't go out of the house. We can't, I mean, we can't go through the house. You know, before dinner time, because the smoke's gonna follow us, so that's not a good idea. So what we need to do is we need to go out, let the smoke come out, and we need to go to your house and get out of our costumes. That's not good. So we need to do that. So how are they gonna get out? Luckily, because bunk beds, you have to climb up to get to the top bunk bed. A bunk bed has a ladder. And so what they did is they opened the windows to let the smoke out, and they put the ladder outside, and they climbed out of the house and they snuck out and they went to their friend's house and um and that's what the oh so they they did that but along the way something to know is there weren't any street lights in those days so the streets are supposed to be dark except they were really lucky on this halloween light night light there was a full moon there's a full moon and because there was this full moon, there was a lot of the moonlight showing them the way. And along the way, they saw this old house. It was clearly a haunted house. Because it looked all old and things in the front were broken down and the windows looked like they were broken down. And the door, the doors looked old and like, Nobody had taken care of the house in years and years and years. And they went up and they were like, Oh, I bet this house is haunted. I, I dare you to go inside. And, uh, and uh, the other buddy said, No, no, I dare you to go inside. And you know, this is a good time for me to tell you that I dare you to close your eyes and get really sleepy. 
Are you getting really sleepy? Is this a haunted house music? That's actually not really haunted. It's actually kind of happy, cheerful uh, Halloween music. Is this making you sleepy? Are you getting sleepy? Are you dreaming about Halloween and all that candy you're going to get? And what kind of costume you're going to wear? Wow. I hope you're dreaming about that. I hope you're asleep and you're dreaming about that. Mm, I hope you are. These kids, they were like, oh, I'm going to go into this hot house. I'm going to tell all my friends about what happened. And what did they do? They, they opened the door and... Oh, there's a uh, family inside. That's kind of weird. They're like, what? There's, there, we, just, we just walked into a family just finishing dinner. They just finished dinner. And like, okay, um, that's not normal. Um, that's really not normal. So what are, what are we going to do? And the family, they all stopped what they were doing. And they just looked at this, at these two kids with smoky, uh, a pig costume and a werewolf costume. Uh, and just then, the mom came out. And she was holding a pie. And she said, oh, why don't you come and stay for pie? Now, I gotta back up a little bit and I have to explain about this house. Inside of this house looks totally normal, except everything is black and white. And why was that? Well, because in the old days, there wasn't any color. Color wasn't invented until the 70s. And this was before color was invented, so everything in the world was only in black and white. And the outside of the house wasn't really haunted. It was just a, a Halloween decoration. It's just a really, really cool one, man. And so the houses were decorated and it was so believable, the kids thought I was haunted, and when they went inside, they realized their mistake. It wasn't haunted, it was just decorated for Halloween, and inside was a normal house. And the whole family had finished their trick-or-treating, then they had dinner, and they just finished eating dinner, and now it's time for dessert. And they felt so embarrassed, because they were so rude, except the mom. The mom is cool. She looked a lot like that really pretty lady that was in that old uh, TV movie called Bewitched. And the, and, the, and the cool lady who's really pretty in Bewitched. Oh man. When I was like, you know, six years old, man, I think I was in love with her. She was a really cool lady. Anyway, the point is, the point is, uh, she came out, she was holding a pie, and she said, why don't you stay for dessert? And she held this delicious, delicious pie. And, the, and they were like, the kids were like, ah, is that okay? Can we have pie? Because we don't want to be rude. And then the rest of the family said, no, 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 come over, come over. We have, we have two extra chairs. What do you know? And so the kids came in and they sat down and they took off their masks because you can't eat pie with a mask on. That's kind of dumb. So they took off the, the mask and they started talking and explained their situation to the family. And they were like, oh wow, you're, you're really lucky you didn't burn down your house. That wasn't a smart move. And they were like, yeah, that's not a smart thing to do. And, and the mom put the pie down on the table. And this is where, uh, this is where um, we have our happy ending, except it's not a happy ending. It's a spooky, spooky story because what she put down wasn't a full pie and it was just a piece, piece of pie and it wasn't even a piece of pie. It was cheesecake, and but it looked like it's really delicious cheesecake and that's the problem. It was really delicious cheesecake and the reason why this is a spooky story is because uh, the mom didn't have milk or hot cocoa to go with the cheesecake. So they had to eat the cheesecake, pie, pieces of cheesecake without anything to drink. And so their mouths got really dry. Oh my God, what to do? Wow. 
Man, my mouth is getting really red. I wish I had some some hot cocoa with me right now. I'm looking around now. Um, well, uh, I'm trying to prepare something. I should have prepared something um, before I told you this story to kind of make it so that my mouth wasn't so dry. Now I'm looking at this uh, cheesecake. That looks so delicious. I bet it. I bet it's pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, that sounds like a so delicious pumpkin spice. That is the end of the spooky, spooky story. The kids ate delicious pumpkin spice cheesecake, but they didn't have any milk to drink. And they were so thirsty. And then when they went home, their parents yelled at them and said, what are you, you almost burned the house down. And they, and they were grounded and they couldn't eat their Halloween candy because they were grounded and also because they burned it. <laughs> that was not a good idea. And, uh, and then, and then it was, uh, and then it was late by then. And so they all had to sleep on the couch and then they closed their eyes and they went to sleep just like you. Did you go to sleep now? I hope you did. I hope you fell right to sleep. And that is the end of the story. And that is where I say, Happy Halloween. Now, there is a super secret bonus story that comes after this. But you don't know that because you're asleep. Anyway, thank you for listening to this spooky story and good night.